wanting to self mutilate and kick your own ass. You uh, you've got that right. You've got that right. <laughs> uh, let's move off of that. Let's move into something that's a little bit of a, a bigger topic here. The NCAA is waiving admission standards for incoming freshmen. The standardized they have to. I think so. I think this was just like a, a formality because they're like Mississippi isn't requiring standardized testing because they they, they let out before they got to do the tests. So, I would say nobody has taken a lot of people take them as juniors and they take them multiple times as a senior, but the entire spring semester nobody took where where the bulk of them get taken ACTs and SATs. Nobody took them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you do it at the end of the, well, for the most part, at the end of your senior year. Yes. So most people take them in the spring semester of their senior year, and if nobody took it, then you can't require it. They uh they are they've still got some requirements. Obviously, uh, student what it what the story says from Mark Schlebaugh. Students who expect to graduate from high school in time to enroll in a D1 school this coming academic year will be academically eligible by earning a combined 2.3 grade point average in the 10 NCAA-approved core courses with a combined 7 in English, math, and science prior to the start of their senior year. There's a 2.2 GPA requirement in 10 NCAA-approved core courses for D2 schools. Uh, The same GPA requirements will apply to international students and they must complete at least 10 core courses prior to the start of their senior year. So, yeah, I mean, it's the same stuff as there. There's just no SAT or ACT. Right? This is for athletes. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, like, it, it's, it's, this is for athletes. It is also for uh, admission standards across the board are being lowered, and, some places like Stanford that typically have a really high one, they're not going to require it at all. Like they, right. they understand that the financial problem is going to be major. Uh, if you were wanting to go to a big time school, you are going to be admitted this year if you want to go there. We um, never really covered the like varsity blues thing and, and these people paying really all this crazy money to get their kids into schools. I, I find this very strange. I think most of that stuff was going on in private schools because state schools will take anybody. Yeah. Even and even most private schools will take anybody. You might come in under academic probation, but I was a dumb dumb and I got into a private school and I got no student aid. I will I got no help. I will say they'll this. take a check. They'll take a check from anybody. Well they they will but there is a limit on the number of kids that they will allow on campus, right? So at the University of Alabama, they are not admitting or they are not admitting uh, as many kids as they could. Like they don't at Alabama, they don't have a single kid that has made less than a twenty nine on the ACT. Now that is going to change this coming season, but it's been like that for the last you know three years at Alabama. Uh, not in the a last single kid, not a single kid. Now, so obviously, it's different athletes. than football. It's it, I'm I'm just talking about the regular student body. Obviously, okay. athletes are different. Athletes get in basically wherever they want to, dependent upon what the I school wants. I was just wants. about to say, yeah, I can but name I'm just, some kids from Alabama that yeah. I will bet my life they do not have a twenty. A twenty nine. Yes, I guarantee that. Yes. Um. So yes, the requirements are lower for athletes. They want to get kids in because sports are the front porch of the university, but. The regular student body, if you're just coming in as an academic student, uh, those requirements at, at bigger places have, some of them, it's gone up. Some of them, it's gone down. It just depends on how many people are trying to get into the university. Since Nick Saban came to Alabama, their admissions have more than doubled, and they are able to kind of pick and choose who they want. Uh, so long as you've got a really good football program, I mean, LSU is about the same way. You know, it's it's... Nah, he, he might get in at LSU. I just, I just don't, I don't Maybe. know. If I agree with that. I think right now, tomorrow, if I wanted to go to college at Alabama, I get in. I don't know. I don't know. Yep. It depends. I it, might it, not get student aid, but I bet they give me a class. Every one of their classes aren't booked up. Yeah, like they, they're not at max capacity for every class they teach, and they're not turning down money. They're not taking somebody's tuition check and saying, "Sorry, we don't want that." Uh, They're going to find a way to let everybody in who wants to come in because they want that damn money. 
Let's see. Uh, Matt said, in the Cal State system, the state government said, let as many in as you can. Then after a few years, many students could not make the grades to stay in, and the schools hurt because of it. So, yeah, I think it, I think it's different per state. Well, yeah, that um, happened to me. I went yeah. to a private school. I got let in, and they took my money. And then after one year, they were like, all right, we tried. You came in under academic probation. Time to go home. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That it makes happens. Sense. And so... Uh, for those that are just joining, because I, I just saw a slew of people coming in, uh, we are we are running a little early today. I have to go get my daughter. So basically, every two weeks, we're going to be doing this earlier than four thirty uh, on Friday. <laughs> just uh, just the way it's going to be for a little bit. And uh, honestly, sometimes it may change anyway. I think next week we're going to have a guest on uh, from the Westlight Pirates, and we we may go earlier for that as well. So keep that on the docket. Kind of make sure your notifications are turned on if you're wanting to jump in on the show. Otherwise, you can always grab the podcast afterwards. Uh, but yeah, the NCAA waiving those admission standards, I think it was, it's just a formality. Yeah, it was because, predictable. Yeah, because it, there was no way that they were going to require that when a lot of these kids aren't able to take the stupid test anyway. So right. you just uh, you just got to roll with it for a season. We'll see what it looks like next year. Um, 